Hi friends, my name is Miss Kate and I work at the LaGrange Park Public Library with some of your other friends, Miss Rose, Miss Margaret, Miss Gianna, Miss Kat, and Miss Christina. I know we're all really missing each other and I'm missing seeing you guys too. So I hope it's okay if I read you a story today. I have a really fun surprise for you after we read the book and I'll give you a hint it has to do with the characters in the book we're about to read. So see if you can guess what my surprise will be, and we'll find out soon. But in the meantime, I'm going to read a book to you. This is such a fun book. It's called Chicks Run Wild, and it's by the author Sudipta Bardem Quailin. And we're really grateful to her and to her publisher, Simon & Schuster, for letting us read this book on camera today. So let's get started. Chicks Run Wild. Every night, up in their beds, pillows fluffed up by their heads, chicks are tucked beneath the sheets. Go to sleep now, Mama tweets. Mama kisses each dear child. But when she leaves, those chicks run wild. First they wiggle and they jump, then they giggle and they thump, playing, swaying in pajamas when they hear their tired mama. All at once, the noisy riot disappears and soon there's quiet. Mama peeks inside and sees baby chicks all catching Z's. Hmm. But she catches feathers moving. Mama glowers disapproving. Then she sighs, please close your eyes. And she says her last goodbyes. One more kiss for each dear child. But when she leaves, what do you think they do? Those chicks run wild. They count one, two, three, and four, then do cartwheels on the floor. When they somersault and leap, someone sees they're not asleep. Mama roars, you're all in trouble. Back in bed now on the double. Wings on hips, she warns those chicks. No more games and no more tricks. One quick peck for each sweet child, she slams the door. Those chicks run wild. They begin a pillow fight in the middle of the night. As the feathers fill the air, they see Mama standing there. Baby chicks, yells tired Mama. Look at all this chicken drama. I would like an explanation. Where is Mama's invitation? Baffled chicks stare at each other. Should they dare invite their mother? Does she really want to play? Come and join us, they all say. Mama dances with each child in the night. They all go wild. In a squall of fluffy feathers, all the fowls sashay together. Mama shows them how to prance and how to do the chicken dance. Have you ever done the chicken dance? You should ask a grown-up to show you. It's a fun one. When the chicks begin to yawn, Mama clucks, my dears, come on. But the chicks fall to their knees, moaning, bedtime, Mama, please. Mama sees that they are weepy. Her sweet chicks are finally sleepy. So she puts away their things, holds her babies in her wings. Chicks get tucked into their beds, pillows fluffed beneath their heads, cuddling underneath their sheets. No more stirring, no more tweets. One last kiss, kiss for each dear child. She leaves the room and mama runs wild. Now it's mama's turn for fun, I guess. Well, thank you so much for listening to this book. Are you ready for your surprise? Give me just a minute, I'll go get it. Well, here's our surprise, friends. I wanted to introduce you to some of my friends. Here in my house, we're staying busy by taking care of some baby chicks the last couple weeks. This one here is Honey, 
and she's about two weeks old. They're getting so big already. Her feathers are starting to come in on her back and her wings are getting really big too. She's a pretty sweet little chick. I thought you might like to meet her. Can you say hi? These chicks are pretty funny. We're learning that chicks have silly personalities just like the ones in our book. Can you say goodbye to our friends? Hmm? Say goodbye, honey. Can you guys say goodbye to honey? How about we meet one more friend? This chick is Julia. Julia is a chick called a sapphire gem. <laughs> Our friend Honey is being very talkative right now, if you can hear her. Hi, Julia. All of these chicks are gonna live in my backyard in the chicken coop, and they're gonna give us eggs. But they have to get a little bit bigger for that. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Honey the chick is being very talkative right now. She likes to sing. Can you say goodbye to Julia? Goodbye, Julia. See you later. Well, friends, thanks for spending some time with me today. I hope that you enjoyed our book and I hope you enjoy meeting my little chick friends. Everyone stay healthy and enjoy some extra time with your families today. Bye.